If you have a, a ladder or a building or a buddy boost that you need to get up over a wall, that's also very simple. Flip it on safe. Coming back down, same thing. Very easy to get to. Hey, welcome to the channel. Uh, I just want, in this video, we're going to go over the Blue Force Gear Padded Vicker Sling. Uh, I love this sling. This sling is excellent. And it's, in my opinion, the way to go if you want an adjustable sling. Gives you a quick loosen and tighten option. Uh, this actually is what gets... Uh, with issue to the Marines, not the padded version, but it'll be all this same width. This has a little pad insert here that goes around your back and shoulder. Uh, I know what you're thinking now. Who would think that a Marine can actually teach a soldier something? But <laughs> I guess I learned. No, seriously though, when I was uh, when I was in, the only thing out was the VTAC sling. Uh, we all ditched our shitty slings quick and all uh, bought it while we were overseas. And uh, that worked out well. Let us climb buildings, climb scale walls, uh, help evaluate a casualty if we need to, move things, whatever you need to do. Whenever you need to stow your weapon, this is a great option. Uh, also, if, and if you're wondering, this is a multi-cam arid pattern. They have the regular multi-cam, the uh, forest green, all kinds of different ones. Cryptec, uh, signal colors like black, gray, uh, tan, whatever you need, they can have it. They also have a custom option to where you can customize the sling exactly how you want it. Uh, they make, th this is the polymer buckles or tri-glides. You can get them in metal if that's what you want. And uh, I'll go, I'll show you how to set it up, how to adjust it real quick. Here's the box that comes in if that matters to you. Uh, one cool thing I actually seen on the box that I didn't know comes with a lifetime warranty. I did not know that, so you're good to go there. Quick look at the box again, if that's what you care about. Okay. Uh, real quick, to adjust it, uh, first thing you want to do is tighten down your sling all the way. And get the rifle as tight to your body as you are going to want it when you want it in the all the way down tight slot. So, start out that way. Just make sure I'm in camera here. I have this triple going through the tri glide so I don't have extra uh, slack hanging out. I'll do that real quick. This is the back end. I have mine set up with QD slots on the furthest points of the rifle so I get the best control of the rifle. So you have two tri glides on each end that you need to adjust. That's simple. Like I said, I have mine set up with QD attachments. If you don't, no problem. Take it. Uh, find a slot. This one has one right here, but just for to show you simply on video. You can come around that way, or again, if you want to go through that slot, you can. Wrap up around, get as tight as you want it. I'm sticking with QD. Uh, if you have the option, please go with QD. It's a lot easier and you can adjust it and remove it and switch it to another rifle if you want really quick. But go through the tri-glide, come back down through. And if you need more slack, all this tri the second tri-glide here, all this one does is tuck in that tail. This tail here if you have another one. So if you get it to where you only need one, you can just go ahead and take this one off and leave the one. It's up to you. 
Uh, same, same thing would go here. Don't mess with it. Again, keep that adjust, this adjustment down here as tight as it can go. This is your adjustment handle. You can grab on it to loosen it or tighten it. Keep it tight while you're doing this. And I'm not going to unfold it again, but you'll do the same with this. Tighten it or loosen it. And uh, like how I have here, after it came back through, it had a little bit of tail hanging out. So I went ahead and fed it back through the tri-glide again so there's nothing hanging out to get snagged on. Very simple. And then set it up however you want it. Uh, excellent sling, like I said, lifetime warranty. And this is useful for uh, if you're going into a CQB environment for my military law enforcement and uh, contract professionals, whatever. Uh, go ahead and loosen it. That way you have some movement to switch shoulders if you need to. Uh, I've never really switched shoulders in combat, but if you're by yourself or on a smaller team, maybe you will. But uh, this is very comfortable sling and it's going to hold up. Very tough. The material is like a Kodora material. I don't know if you can see the texture there. And like I said, any color, you can match your outfit all you want. <laughs> but uh, seriously, yeah, you can, if you're in a, a desert environment, this one works well. Uh, like I said, and they have the greens and OD greens and browns, whatever you need for uh, other environments, jungle, however you need to run it. Um, I'm going to edit in some uh, shooting footage and climbing footage. If you want to see it, go ahead and keep watching. If not, if you're looking for a recommendation if you should buy the sling or not, absolutely. This is well worth the money. It's about $45, $55. I think the padded version is $10 more and the unpadded is about $45. Take care, guys. So I wanted to show you guys a quick tip on storing your weapons, <clears throat> whether it be in a safe, in a vehicle, wherever. Uh, that's what sucks about slings. When you're putting them in and out of your safe or whatever, they get tangled up and caught on magazine wells and pistol grips. This will keep it out of the way for the most part. What you want to do is take the slack all the way out. And uh, sometimes you might need to do this as well. Drop your butt stock down to as close as you can get it. Then you're going to take your sling like this. I'm just pulling it straight down. And getting a bite over here. I'm wrapping it under the butt stock. Coming up. And wrapping around the pistol grip. Just like that. And if you want to, if you have an adjustable, tighten it up. Then that thing ain't going nowhere. It's out of the way, nice and streamlined. And you ain't got to worry about it catching and grabbing on stuff. Just a quick tip. Take care, guys. I personally use this one. It's worked very well, as long as you do the strike correctly. Uh, when I'm going into a building anyways, I like to have a little bit of slack in my sling. If you have it too tight and someone catches you coming around a corner or a doorway, it, it's easy to, to grab you and pull you off balance. Whereas if you're if it's a little bit looser and you're going through there, they could grab and you can kind of swim out of it if you need to. You might get stumble a little bit, but you can swim out and then uh, proceed to get aggressive and take their asses out, whatever you need to do. But real quick, uh, what I like to practice on, if you have those bobs or those human dummies, uh, boxers and Thai people like to use, that would work perfect for this. Uh, what you want to do, and this works great with a vertical grip as well, have some slack in your sling when you're coming up. Take a little bit of a, a wade back, step forward, and strike that barrel right in your sternum, right in their sternum. You want to hit it high, right below the neck, and uh, right, right about where the nipples are, a little bit higher than that. You strike someone there hard with your barrel, put it right in their chest. They're going ass over end, they're going straight to the ground, and you can handle business from there a lot easier. Uh, when you're striking, just like when you're punching, try not to aim for what you're hitting. Try to aim behind that part. Just like in, in boxing, you don't want to hit, say you're hitting someone with a, a right hook, you don't want to aim for this, you want to aim and try to put that punch through the other side of their face. You want to aim for that other side of that cheek. That way you get that force through there and that follow through and you'll be able to do whatever you need to do. But the same goes for this strike. 
this is a very like I said it's a very people don't really expect that but if you don't want to kill somebody and you need to get them down the ground or they choose to get aggressive with you a nice strong strike to the stomach or to the chest they're going right on the ground and then you can follow up from there I drill this with a cardboard box nothing inside a good indicator that you're doing it right is to have the barrel go straight through the cardboard and to the other side with nothing in it just a light cardboard box if you don't strike it hard enough or strike it correctly it's just gonna bounce off if you do it correct with all your weight behind it nice and straight it'll go through that box that's a good indicator it's not perfect it's not scientific it's just a good indicator to know to get the idea that you're doing it right I'll demonstrate it real quick 